Suka, I'm back to YouTube. Now I'm in a book town in Tokyo. It's called Jinbocho. So here there are a lot of book stores. Like book stores are everywhere. And you know I love reading books. This area is so cool because it's not as touristy as other places in Tokyo. Kanda Jinbocho, located in Tokyo, Japan, is considered one of the world's best book towns. It has about 200 bookstores selling different types of books from old to new. You can find specialty shops for ancient maps, science books, art books, and more. There are also stores with novels, comics, and magazines. It's a great place for book lovers to explore a wide range of genres all in one area. Personally, I don't like to buy books online. I prefer to read a few pages of it and then decide whether I'm going to buy it or not. It's, it's fun, right? Guys, I think I found a very cool hotel. Look at this, book hotel. Oh my god, never heard of it. It's so cool. This area became known as a book town around the early Meiji era, which was between 1868 and 1872. At that time, many schools, including what are now Shinshu University, Meiji University, Hosei University, and others were established here. Later, law schools were also founded here, and bookstores specializing in law moved to Jinbocho. As students began coming to the area to buy textbooks and other books, it gradually developed into a major book district. Eventually, major publishers also started setting up in the area. I'm not really sure of the history behind it, but this area is also known for having many good curry restaurants. Um, so this is a book town with curry restaurants good ones look at this they also have some English books right here this reminds me of the bookstore in Boston that I vlogged in my Boston vlog purchased a book and I'll show it to you later. I forgot to mention but here's another reason why I don't buy books online. That's because I want to support small local businesses. That's why I buy books um, usually at individual stores. And now I'm heading to a cafe, a coffee shop. I'd like to drink something cold. I thought today was going to be a little cooler but turned out hot but it's okay as long as it's not raining <laughs> I'm okay I ended up having a hot coffee because it's getting chilly yeah, you might hear the sound of the breeze it's getting chilly here okay let me show you the book that I bought today okay hold on all right guys this is the book I got from one of the bookstores, Living in Tokyo by Catherine Sansom. I have already read the few, uh, the first pages of the bookstore and this one caught my attention. This book was written by a Canadian woman who lived in Tokyo from 1928 until 1936. And I thought it would be interesting to learn about how her lifestyle in Tokyo was back then. And as you can see, there are some like cute little pictures in the book as well oh so cute i don't think i would find this kind of book online um yes and you know it's written in japanese so for me it would be easier to read i should have brought my tripod because my arm is kind of tired now um i like this camera but the downside of it is that it doesn't have a wide lens so if I hold this camera like this, this lens makes my um, face look bigger, right? So I have to like do this. 
Today, Jinpo Cho is home to around 200 bookstores in total. Of these, about 15 have been in business for over 100 years, and around 50 have been operating for more than 50 years. Additionally, about 50 publishers are based in the area. I find it cool that each bookstore has its own specialty. Like, for example, bookstore A specializes in movies. Um, bookstore B specializes in books about music. So you'll find your favorite bookstore here, obviously. Which way to the station? I think this way. Well, actually, I, I'm thinking about making this kind of videos more often. You know, showing you guys some hidden gems in Tokyo as a local. But what, what do you think? Is it a good idea? Do you want to see those videos from me? Let me know in the comment section down below. Well, it's getting darker and I think I should get going and call it a day. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye!